Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're talking about prions. Prions are a very interesting type of infectious disease and they are so interesting because prions are actually proteins. When we think of infectious disease, we typically think of microorganisms, things like bacteria or fungi, also viruses. These are the things that we think of as causing disease, not proteins. And so when prions were actually first discovered, there was a lot of disagreement that this was even possible. But multiple experiments did eventually show that prions are proteins that can fold in at least two ways and critically, one confirmation, that is one of the folding ways, one confirmation can catalyze other prion proteins to fold that way. Now, if you're interested in learning more about catalysis and more about proteins and how they can act as enzymes, then see my video titled Introduction to Enzymes. But basically, catalysis is simply when a protein acts as an enzyme, so enzymes are types of proteins, and they do, they perform some function. And so in this situation, they are catalyzing another protein's change in shape. So here we have some drawings. I have the normal proteins in orange and a prion protein in pink. Now it's important for you to remember that the amino acid sequences of all of these proteins are the same. It's simply that the prion protein has a different shape, a different conformation than the normally folded proteins. And what happens is once one of these prion proteins is present, it can catalyze a change in shape of a normal protein. And this results in protein aggregates, uh, specifically aggregates of the prion protein. So basically one prion protein catalyzes a change in shape for the normal for the normal protein, and that results in lots of prion proteins, so lots of the ones that have this particular shape instead of the normal shape, and then they begin to aggregate. And why is this a bad thing? Why does it cause disease? Well, it turns out that this type of situation, which we refer to as self-propagation, that this self-propagation of prion proteins, making more prion proteins and then aggregating, it actually causes several brain diseases in different mammals. Here are a few that affect humans. There's mad cow disease, which you've probably heard of. It's typically linked with contaminated beef products. There's also Kuru. Kuru is a prion disease that is found in certain remote tribes of Papua New Guinea who practice funerary cannibalism. That is, they actually eat the brains of other dead tribal members and can get prion protein from those brains. And there's also Creutzfeldt Jakob disease which is sometimes a genetic disease and is other times transmitted from person to person by way of brain grafts. And critically, all of these prion protein diseases are currently incurable and they're also currently fatal. So these are serious diseases when contracted. Luckily, they are still fairly rare. But that is it for today, learning about prions. Thanks for watching Biology Professor, and I hope you learned a lot.